What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're recording another video. That's right. I'm trying to stick to my word now that I've moved and have much more freedom over my content creation schedule and I want to get on this the, uh, the streak. I want to start a new streak of uploads for you guys. It's been about two days since I've got uh, my last upload which was the tarot deck opening. If you haven't watched it, it'll be at the end of the video. Uh, it'll be one of the videos at the end of the video for you to watch. And uh, today we're going to open up our first actual Sans product. It's the uh, Sans Spellbook. I'm quite behind on this. Um, this whole past month has been very uh, hectic. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm always so bad at opening things, guys. And this things never change. But Jess, are you excited to open some seance? Um, I don't think she has looked at much of the cards either from this set. So I've seen some cards. I've seen some of the Hateful Eight. We've got a little list. A little list on the screen here, so we can see if we pull any of them. And I'll be curious to see how many full hollows we can get out of this spell book. Spell books have had some of the most. Uh, it's, a box. it's like a real book. Yep. I do love the spell book design um, that Metazoo has used since day one. I think it's really, really neat. Um, and as I always harp when I open these, I think this is just like such a nice uh, introductory product, or just in general, any kind of product. But if, if you were to give a gift to someone who's not into MetaZoo and you're trying to convert them to MetaZoo, I think this is probably the best one to do it with because they'll walk away with everything they need. Um, one of the first things I guess we'll look at is the Ye Olde Foldable um, Playmat. And this one here is pretty sweet. It's hard to get this on camera without really... Uh, ruining everything, but I believe, I want to go, on, go out on a limb and say this is M from the story, if you're familiar with the story. I think that's M. And I don't know who this is, but I really want that card. What are you, what are you thinking about this, Jess? I really like these little skull guys. I'm a big skull fan. She likes the skulls. And on the back, oh, look at oh, that! Wow. This, this is a card as well. I forget what it's called. No, it's not called like a Ouija board, but it's like a something. Something. And then this card is always one of my favorites from, let me see if I can focus on that thing, is always one of my favorites. It's the ensemble card, I call it. This one's called Join the Seance. Features Walking Sam and a bunch of other cool beasties. The rule book. Updated for Seance. At the time of printing, this is the most um, up-to-date rule book. Um, I personally know the R&D team is updating the rule book on a monthly basis, weekly to monthly basis. So um, if you want the most updated one, it's always available on our website. I'm at azugames.com in the gameplay section, along with some other good resources for you. I'm not going to go through all the new auras. That's not something I really feel like doing right now, but it comes with a nice brick of auras so you can build decks. Um, it's very useful to have. Sometimes you might think you have a lot of these, but when you go to build a deck, you might often find, wait, I literally am five aura short, and then it feels bad having to go out and like buy aura. So that's great. Sleeves right here, so you can sleeve up your deck and play with people. I personally, I love to use these sleeves in the binder. I like to make a master set in a binder, or at least work towards one, and I love these provided sleeves for it. Jess is doing a great job sliding it over. I actually kind of like this format. Smash the like button for uh, Assistant Jess. We got a nice blood red um, so Metazoo coin um, featuring first edition. Can we get a zoom in on that? Uh, <laughs> control man. Um, it's pretty sweet. Also, I, I have this, I have a mic arm now and I'm not used to it and I'm like picking things up and like it's blocking my vision, but we'll, we'll start figuring that out. I'll, I might have to move it. Oh, and then we got more of these. Oh, and this has a brand new token. Um, I'm not sure what this status is, but that's really cool. Oh, wait, it punches out. Huh, that's really adorable. Yeah. And then we got the standard ones here, which you can never have too many of those, especially if you play with Loveland Frogman, then uh, you definitely know what we're talking about. And there's 10 of these packs. We're just going to go right into it. I'm just going to go 
right on into it. No shuffling today. I'm sure by now you guys have opened a ton of Seance, so I'm probably behind the eight ball. Hopefully you guys aren't too bored. Oh, that's great. Us have a good reaction to these cards. Into that. That's right. You could, uh, you could. YouTube is all about react. This is a re reaction style video now. Uh, <laughs> late collectors react to MetaZoo cards. No, um, this is really interesting. I forgot. This is the set that introduces dual type uh, beasties for the first time, and that is just from a deck building perspective, extremely exciting to me. Got ourselves a Copenhagen Devil, followed by Investigating Policeman token. I really like that one. Desert. We got the Forest Aura. We got the Boat Hound. We got the Goofus Bird. That's really cool. Sam's Scarf. The Hi Hierophant. Element 115. Ice Worm. The World. Zawurdo. And, ooh, wow, Reverse Hollow Houdini's Hat. That's really cool. Very, like very Rainbonious. Um, really cool. Oh, okay, cool. It's a dual artifact. It's for light and uh, light and spirit type. So, I'm a huge fan of the dual artifacts. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can. Look at that, guys. Wow, he's a genius, isn't he? Um. Go ahead and start. Yeah, yeah. Let it, she's gonna. She's gonna carry on. Casey, Casey Jones. Jones. Burning effigy token. It's crazy. That's a pretty gnarly. It's a pretty gnarly artwork. Let's buy some things. Desert. Cosmic aura. Chibi sandwiches. Green bang. I like that guy. Ooh, not deer. That's the guy from the playmat that I said I wanted, it looks like. That is interesting. I'll have to see what he does. Actually, pause. Pause. Let's see what he does. Let's check out what the not deer do. Um, if you have seen a deer today or if a beastie named Wendigo ooh, is in the arena, inflict target beastie with fear. Arena, all beasties with a forest terror bonus have plus 10 attack damage if it's act. So it's like a, it gives additional forest terror bonus. I like this. Bloodied Claws, you may send a beastie from your limbo to your after. Okay. Card seems like a stud overall. Overall seems kind of studly. All right, carry on. Carry on, Ringo. Tomb effigy. The black, black helicopter. helicopter. Magic scarecrow. The gargoyle. Ooh. Oh, let's get the higher to the closer to the camera. If you can, maybe you can't see it then. But the bourgeoisie birds. Now this is crazy. Is this like the whole? This is the whole birds aren't real thing, which is really funny. Now. Kind of a funny little backstory in that I st a long time ago I stumbled across the birds aren't real Twitter page when they were like 300 followers and I was like this is pretty funny but I don't is this really gonna catch on they were like paying to promote tweets and stuff but like a few years later next thing you know this whole birds aren't real thing is essentially like a brand you know they're like a brand founded around that meme and I just thought that was really funny it's like I don't know it's very weird when you see someone start out small and get big kind of like MetaZoo, but it, it can also feel uh, amazing to be along for the ride, and I hope you guys all feel amazing to be along with this ride. Look at me, I'm the Segway MC King Master. No, I'm not gonna lie guys, I feel significantly less um, smooth with these unboxing narrations, because it's been, I got in the groove of it in the, in the past, and I'm not quite there, but, this is not the first time I've taken a longer break than I wanted to, and I did eventually come back into it. We got Black Aggie. We got a Puppet Token. This is beautiful artwork by Lily. Got the new Frost Aura. I love the Colorado Springs Elf. Brunes. If you guys watch channel, you know Brunes, a buddy boy of mine. He's done it again. This guy's hilarious. He's, he's a dark and light type. You may pay one light. Attacker show stopping. Never the same. <laughs> At any time for this beastie to gain the name Chibi Humanoid. 
Once per game, you may say, just bring on the children to place up to three beasties with the name Cholera. Oh my god. Bring on the children. Bring on the children. Or that have Chibi in their name from the, your limbo or chapter into the arena. Wow. Wow. This is like, I know, I'm pretty sure the Chibi deck is already strong. DC the Demon Cat. I don't know if that, like, if, if that even fits in the deck, but if they have room for that card, I mean, that just revives. Oh, the talking board on the back of the, uh, the playmat was the talking board. It's pretty cool. But I mean, that card seems like really strong. It revives all your chibis. So that's, um. Oh my god, look at this artwork by Seb! The Tommy Knocker! Do I have to play a Spirit Earth deck just to run four Tommy Knockers? If you are within five miles of a mine, this beastie games, gains fleet. Is activated. His power is unequip target uh, equipment and equip it to a target beastie or artifact in the arena. Yeah, we gotta set up a mine tournament. If that BC or artifact is not a valid target, huh? Oh. Interesting. Ooh! Oh wow! These these dual aura cards with the brand new gradient border there is really nice looking. The Splinter Cat. That's really cool. I don't want to spend too much time focusing on like weird gameplay because I know not everybody's into that. But uh, once I learned the game, it's like it's it's changed the way I view these pack openings. So, you guys go. I don't want to stand up, but here you go. Here you go. investigating policeman token. Look at him. Look at the his cops. Hands. The fuzz. Vile, Vile vapors. vapors. That's kind of a cool Flame looking. Aura. Flame aura. Wow, that's a really striking card. Oh! Worm Pack, baby! Whoa! Ghost of the Sloss Furnace Reverse Hollow. That is excellent, man. Seb. Seb, you're a killer. You're a killer with these with this artwork, man. Boy, oh boy. That's an awesome looking card. I'm so excited. Just to, just to be here with MetaZoo as it grows. As an employee, I have to say, I guess, I, I like sometimes, I, I, I've I been meaning to make a disclaimer, I just put in the description. That like, yeah, I'm, I'm an employee, so maybe maybe I might have biased, no, biased opinions. Little, little intro video that just says, Warning. Warning! Like a big red. Yeah. The content you are about to consume was produced by a MetaZoo employee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is trying to scam you. Oh boy, wow. Boathound. Wait, wait, Boathound is legit. This is another dark water card. Each turn an artifact touching this beast, he loses... Oh my god, you can place this on artifacts and it just... It just nullifies them. That's actually like really strong. That's really strong. It's true. Oh my god, I'm not used to having any of this stuff in front of me. We've got we're about halfway through. Let's see if we can let's see if we can turbo mode the last five packs for these guys. Not like not like in a stressful way, but a river, water aura, another DC the demon cat. Whoa! Oh my God, dude, the light—it's a—it's a Earth Light hybrid card, and I—I I love the border on this thing. Boojum? It's a Boojum. <laughs> really enjoying it. Oh, man. Okay, Reverse Hollow DC the Demon Cat. So so far, no dupes. Hashtag no dupes. I know I—I I said that in one of my older videos, and then like people. People really liked it. They got a lot of comments saying hashtag no dupe. So maybe that can be one of my dumb YouTuber things. You start making merch that says hashtag no dupe. I'll like make. On the side of like sweatpants. <laughs> yeah, I'll make the most boring Teespring t shirt on the planet with like Times New Roman 
hashtag no dupes. No. Listen, guys, if I ever make merch, you can count on it being really cool. Um, one of the other things I've done for a long time is I've I've ran a little a clothing brand that I like to to work on. It's called Fight Boy. It's like an anime streetwear brand. It's like four years old at this point. We had a bit of a hiatus um, due to the pandemic, but we are in a big production phase at the moment, and I'm very excited about it. Um, so basically, I like I like designing clothes. So my point is, if I ever do make merch for this channel, which I want to maybe wait till I hit a thousand subs, and maybe I'll make that might be a fun way to make like a shirt or something like that. I promise you, it'll be way cooler than the average YouTuber's merch. So if you'd like to see that happen, wow, the Alaskan platypus. You should at least subscribe, and then if you want to do the extra leg work, maybe get like 10 friends to subscribe, go have your mom subscribe on her Gmail account, um, get us there a bit faster. Hack into people's accounts just to subscribe. Commit crimes on my behalf. Um, reserve Airbnbs that don't have people's YouTube logged out. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, we did that before in Airbnb. Someone left their YouTube logged in and we subscribed. Wait, maybe we shouldn't say that. That's actually a lie. I'm just telling a joke. Yeah, that's a joke. That's a lie. I'm telling a We're joke. Just kidding. Does anybody know humor? Don't tell. Don't tell Susan Wojcicki. My buddy's my buddy's streaming Final Fantasy through the wall. I can hear him. This is good. What the heck? I like this. The Wazooie man? Wait, this is one of my favorite cards I've ever seen. Can I get a reverse hollow fucking Wazooie man? Wow, I'm gonna have to really look through these cards later. And I'm excited to open a booster box soon. Whoa, Taily Bones? I'm loving the names of the of the cryptids. There's so many wacky, playful names of cryptids, and this is no. Uh, exception. Taily bones. Reverse hollow. Okay, hashtag hey, no dupes. This. What? Flip you may screen you fool to get to damage to oh, the I like that. Some good fourth wall effects. This one wants you to scream you fool. Which um, if any of you guys ever been to a MetaZoo tournament or a um, just like a local play event, then you'll know it can get kind of fun and funny. Up in there, we got the cal calipo calipode, calopody, stone jug token, lightning storm, light aura. Yeah, I love a good ship. Look at this black mass artwork. It's just that monochromatic work. Seb, that's insane. Giraffe possum. Actually, my I think the, the oh, wow. cutest MetaZoo card I've ever seen in my life has to be giraffe possum. It's some hot girls covered in blood. Oh my god, dude, the mince pie Martian. Look at this, like, rainbow! Wow! Is this what the... I don't know if... I, is this just, like, all cosmic cards have this, like, banner on the side in this set? Because that is gorgeous. Or is this because it's a hybrid light cosmic card? Because, man, this is gorgeous. Woof! 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 School of Spirit Control, Wheel of Fortune, and a Reverse Hollow, Brown Mountain Lights. Do we have? Yeah, I guess we'll count up at the end. Lots of reverse hollows, but no hashtag, no dupes. Hashtag, no dupes. <laughs> so that's okay, and it's all it's all for the sake of the master set. Reverse hollow, full hollow. What's the difference? What's the difference? Maybe we can get one though, one full hollow for your boy. I love giraffe possum so much. It is cool. The moon is excellent. Injured, cold, and Mothman. Gorge. Gorge. Oh, orange eyes. Yo. If you guys haven't read the story, wait, hold on. Cover that guy up. Orange eyes is so sick. Orange eyes is so cool, man. This is an excellent example of why you should be reading the illustrated novel and why you should be excited for the book coming out soon because i don't know it makes a pack opening so much more fun and then we did it she's the lucky one we actually managed to get uh one full hollow it's the alaskan ice monster i don't believe this is a hateful eight but um two? it's really cool oh we did get two. Oh, okay 
I can't really complain about two out of eight um, pieces of eight. Two out of ten. I'm all over the place. I'm not a bad ratio. Three out of three out of ten is like pretty pretty uh, statistically normal, but two out of ten not too far off. And hashtag no dupes. Um, there's no weird comment of the day today. Just go ahead. Hashtag no tubes to get the ball rolling on that crap, and um, to keep me uh, to keep me uh, hyped up to continue the string of uploads that I'm hoping to start with now. So catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.